everyone welcome back to my channel we are back again with another tutorial so today we're going to be making a flat top with a cape so let's get to it the measurement we need for this tutorial are the shoulder measurement shoulder round measurement the armhole and um, the length of the top when i say shoulder round measurement it means you have to measure it like so so let's get to it i'm using two and a half yards for this tutorial so first we fold our fabric into two we might have gotten used to that so i'll turn it to the wrong side so my fabric is folded into two now go ahead and grab this folded edge and bring it like so like a triangle now first i'll place the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement is 14 inches divided by two which is seven inches I mark my seven inches here yeah? and on this side i'll place my arm hole so the arm hole i'm working with is eight inches i draw the line here so this is the shoulder measurement from the shoulder measurement i will come down three inches from the shoulder measurement the arm hole side so I'll mark three inches here. On this side, on the folded side, that is on the neckline, I will come down four inches. So I'll go ahead and connect this line. You make a curve just like a curve. You connect it four inches on this side and connect it to the three inches. I measure down four inches here, measure down three inches here. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines together. Remember, it's an off shoulder top. So that is the main reason I came down four inches and three inches on this side. So for the armhole, I will slant the armhole a bit. So I will now go ahead and take the length. I will take the length right from these three inches I measure down from the armhole. And these four inches I measure down. So I will take it right from this neckline, taking 18 inches, cross half an inch for seam allowance, that is 18 and a half inches. So I will take the 18 and a half inches around. I'll go ahead and cut it out. First, I will cut the length. Now, I'll cut the neckline. I'll cut the armhole. So we open it up, it should look something like this. I'll be adding a little sleeve to it. So, so we'll go ahead and cut out the cape. I'll go ahead and fold the fabric into four. So I don't want to waste much fabric. This is the fabric room and I'm folding it into two. Then I will take it again and fold it into four like so so I'll be replacing the measurement now the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 42 inches I'll be adding one inch to it for the joining that is 43 inches so I will divide the 43 inches by 3.14 why I'm dividing it by 3.14 is because I'm making a half circle if I'm making a full circle I will divide it by 6.28 so I'm making a half circle cape. I'll divide it by 3.14. So 43 divided by 3.14 is 13 inches, 0.6. I'll round it to 
13 inches point nine. So I'll take my 13 inches point nine round. The length of my cape is 8 inches, so I'll be adding half an inch for seam allowance. That is 8.5 inches. I'll measure 8.5 inches round. So I'm cutting it out. I said is aside. I'll be adding a little sleeve to it. So I'm making the sleeve now. I'm taking about um, 10 inches for the sleeve, for the sleeve length. So then I'm putting the armhole length, which is 8 inches. This is the armhole length. Then here I will come down 4 inches. I'm making a free sleeve so I will look for the midpoint of the four inches and I'll take it right from the sleeve cap here to make this and curve it like so. I'll take it to meet the midpoint four inches I marked out here. I'll start covering, I'll curve it right from here, take it to this side. I'm cutting the sleeve out. This is 10 inches. By the time I cut out the sleeve cap, I'll be left with maybe 6 or 5 inches. So I'll cut two of these. So next is for us to put the fabric together. I'll open it up. I'll go ahead and sew this side, the both sides together. Make sure the right side of the right side of the fabric are facing each other. So I will sew the side here and sew the other side before we attach the sleeve to it. I finished sewing the both side. What we are going to do next is to attach the sleeve to it. So before we attach the sleeve to it, I will sew the side of the sleeve and hem the bottom of the sleeve. After sewing the sleeve, the side of the sleeve and the bottom of the sleeve, so we'll go ahead and they attach the sleeve to the top. But before I attach the sleeve to the top, I'll measure the neckline round. Yeah, what I have here is 15 inches. So this shoulder round front here is 15 inches and the back is 15 inches. Remember I said the shoulder round is 42 inches. So 42 inches, I'm going to minus this 30 inches from the 42 inches. The front here is 15 inches and the back is 15 inches. That is 30 inches. So I minus the 30 inches from the from the 42 inches. So we minus 30 from 42 inches. We'll be left with 12 inches. I will divide the 12 inches into two for the two sleeves. I will have six inches on this side and six inches on the sleeve cap here. To have that six inches on the sleeve cap, I will go ahead and uh, cut this out because this is folded into two i will divide it into two when you divide six into two you have three inches left then i'll be adding half an inch for seam allowance that is a uh, three and a half inches so on the sleeve cap here i will measure three and a half inches here So this is three and a half inches. When you open it up, I will have seven inches. And that seven inches, 
half an inch is for seam allowance on this side and half an inch for seam allowance on that side so i'll be left with six inches when you add up that six inches that is the two 12 inches to this 30 inches you end up having 42 inches that means the shoulder measurement the shoulder round measurement is correct so i'll do the same thing to this side after i've done that i will take the sleeve and pin them together I will take the sleeve and pin the armhole together. So you match up the side together, the right side facing each other. So after pinning this, I'll go ahead and attach the sleeve to the top. After measuring it, you will find out that we have that 44, 42 inches. And for the cape, remember this is half circle and this side is open. I'll go ahead and sew this place together. And before we attach it. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeve to the, to the top. And I've sewn the side of the cape. We'll go ahead and attach the cape to the top. I'll turn the top to the wrong side. And turn the cape to the wrong side as well. I'll put this inside. I will pin them together now. This is the right side of the cape, and this is the wrong side of the top. So the right side of the cape is facing the wrong side of the top. I will go ahead and pin them round. So I will sew it around the neck and then hem the bottom of the top and the bottom of the cape. Okay. I finished attaching the cape to the top. After I've done that, I went ahead and gave it a good press. I've also hemmed the bottom of the cape and this is the, the sleeve inside. The sleeve. So that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Please subscribe to my channel if this is your first time of watching my video. Love you. Bye.